गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम त्यागराज गुरव नम सर्वे नम कृष्णवेणी आंटी एस्ट मी टू स्पीक अ फ्यू वर्ड्स अबाउट पंचरत्न उत्सव संप्रदाय कृति एंड दिव्य नाम संकीर्तन The subject is vast. It's hard to speak a few words, and the subject, personality, the Tyaga Raja is, is a towering personality. Um, I can speak all day about Tyaga Raja, but that we do not have time for it. We do not have time to go into every one of the Pancharatnams. But I will try to succinctly describe what I have heard from elders and what I have read from Gnanis. I myself um consider myself an agnani and a very preliminary student of music uh, so please forgive my mistakes there are two aspects to uh, pancharatnas one is the musicological aspect and the other is the aspect of metaphysics and spirituality the musicological aspect of pancharatna is that it is based on the ghana raga panchaka these are five ragas in carnatic music these are quintessential carnatic ragas very ancient and are endowed with high level of resonance and are very uh, pleasing to the ear when particularly when presented in the thana form um and tana is a very great specialty of vainikas and all these five ragas are presented in tana form so there is actually a story behind this and i don't know whether this is apocryphal but uh, somebody told tyagaraja two things one you really don't know sanskritam you write only in telugu what kind of uh, pandita are you second you did not even go to a, you know renowned the uh, guru to learn music you cannot write any padavarnams tyagaraja great bhakta took this as a challenge for him it was not a personal ego centric thing but for him the knowledge that he had gained from years of tapas and the bhakti he had placed in his ishta devata shri rama would have been nullified had he allowed the words of small people to divert him from his task so he wrote padavarnams are these ordinary padavarnams these are towering compositions and because somebody said you don't know sanskritam he wrote uh, the jagadananda karaka in sanskritam you know as a student of sanskritam i can tell you the sanskritam in jagadananda karaka is exquisite the sad the sandhis and samasas are beautifully carved out uh, with the words following one another without space you see in fact it was so hard to sing and read but it's beautiful if uh, it is said that upama kalidasasya bharave artha gauravam dandinah padalalityam we have to see tyagaraje santi trayo guna that is the level of poetic beauty the resonance padalalitya the, 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 the mellifluence of words and his ability to compare the similes <coughs> that is where tyagaraja is <clears throat> in fact if kalidasa were alive today he would have come and embraced tyagaraja then we have to go into the um the metaphysical aspect of this i believe that tyagaraja's pancharatnas describe five stages of <clears throat> a person's evolution as a bhakta 
and Tyagaraja has captured his own evolution in this. So the first one is Jagadananda Karaka. In this Tyagaraja pictures Sri Rama as Vishnu. Now you could say that is, you know, what is this? I mean, Sri Rama was a, you know, king uh, who went to forest with his wife and his wife got abducted. And he, you know, to save his wife's honor, he went after Ravana and killed him. But in Ramayana itself, there are instances where Rama is mentioned as divine. There are two instances. And one of them is interestingly from his foe, Maricha, who is sent to the forest to distract Rama while Ravana would, would go and, and abduct Sita. Maricha tells Ravana when asked to do this, Ramo Vigrahavan Dharmaha Sadhu Satya Parakramaha Raja Sarvasya Lokasya Devata Niva Vasavaha Rama is the embodiment of Dharma. I would like to say something here, and I think hopefully young people are also listening. There is no deity who has been maligned as much as Rama recently for whatever political reason. But I want everybody to remember this very short phrase about Sri Rama. Rama Vigrahavan Dharmaha. Rama is the embodiment of Dharma. Sadhu, virtuous, Satya Parakramaha, truly valiant. And his valor is also backed by truth because he never strayed from the path of truth. He is like Indra to the entire world. The other one is when Brahma comes after Ravana has been slain. And Rama says, Atmanam manusham manye Ramam dasharathatmajam I am only a human being. I am dasharatha's son. To which Brahma says, that is not correct. Bhavan Narayano Devaha Sriman Chakrayudha Prabhu Which means, you are Narayana. You are the wife, you are the husband, I am sorry, of Lakshmi. Your wife is Lakshmi. And your, your Ayudha is Chakra, Sudarshana. So Tyagaraja has pictured Sri Rama as Vishnu in Jagadananda Karaka. As you read through, you, it will become very clear. Now, as I said, you know, we should talk about, you know, the different stages a Bhakta goes through. So, yes, you, you fell in love with the Divine, you have praised the Divine, but then your mind begins to bother you. Oh, alas, I've, I've, committed, I've committed so many mistakes in my life. Will I even, you know, make it? And then you start recounting your mistakes. What all the mistakes have I committed, O oh Lord? Please. Please help me. Please uplift me. There is Tyagaraja, this is not just the only place where Tyagaraja has said this. If you look at the Abhogi Kriti, Manasu Nilpa Shakti Leka Pote Madhura Ghanta Virula Puja Mije Yunu Manasu Nilpa Shakti Leka Pote what is the point in not being able to control your mind and then performing puja? So Tyagaraja, you know, went through this and he saw people around him. After that, you know, you have confessed your, uh, your faults to the Lord and you now want to, you know, progress. You are doing tapas, you are doing puja, you are doing bhakti, you are doing dharma, but you get doubt. Sadin chene Will I achieve? Will I achieve my goal? 
of Sayujya, of Moksha, of being with, uh, being with Rama. There is also a Malayamarata composition, very similar. Manasaya to Lord Tule, Namanavini, Chekonave. The mind doesn't listen. Will I achieve it? Then you, you control that. And then you, you see the Lord in your mind, in front of you. I have definitely seen Rama. Giripai Nalakonna Ramani. So when you see Rama, what do you say? Kana Kana Similar composition. Sundara Tara Degam Ramam Sundara Tara Degam Mandegam Ramam Sundara Tara Degam The bhakta has now grown. The bhakta has seen the Lord. Then the bhakta realizes, I am not the only bhakta. There are other bhaktas around. There are great people who came before me. And this was triggered in Tyagaraja's mind when Shatkala Govinda Mara came to visit him and invited him to a Swadhyaturanar's court. Govinda Mara sang a Jayadeva Ashtapadi in six columns. And Tyagaraja was smitten by the beauty of the singing, by the Panditya of uh, Govinda Mara, and he was impressed by Swadhyaturanal's uh, patronage and uh, Swadhyaturanal's own reputation. But then Tyagaraja said, I am not going to be able to make it because I will not enter a king's court. My, my life is in the service of Rama. But then he composed. Yandaro Mahanu Bhavulu. And what are these Mahanu Bhavulu? Yandaro Mahanu Bhavulu, Andariki Vandanamulu. Yandaro Mahanu Bhavulu, Vagya Karmukadu. Bhagavatulu. These are people who have submitted themselves to the Lord. They may be great musicians, but they are great because they are Bhagavatas. And he mentions this Bhagavata actually in Kanakana Ruchira too, in the end. In the, in the last uh, charana. Here, you can, you know, also think about Sangeeta Jnanam. Tyagaraja says, Sangeeta Jnanam Bhakti Mina Sanmargamu Galade Manasa Sangeeta so these are five stages of a bhakta's evolution from being from coming into contact with the Lord to being one with the Lord to, to self-actualization. This is at least my interpretation. I've heard some elders you know speak about this and I hope it is correct. Then we go to the Divya Nama Sankirtanams and uh, we go to the uh, 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 Utsava Sampradaya Kritis. Tyagaraja was not merely a bhakta, he was also one who propagated dharma, he was a dharma prachodaka. And he understood that in this age, bhakti is the primary means of propagating dharma. Purandara Dasa says, Kali Yuga Dali Hari Nama Vane Nedare Ular Koti Ghar Udhari Sumava Ranga. Tagaraja was inspired by Purandara Dasa, Annamaya, Bhadrachala Ramadasa, and all the great people who came before him. So, 
he composed a lot of compositions that are divya nama sankirtanams rama kodanda rama ramani maravakave all these songs are meant for everybody to sing any time of the day to remember the lord's name and to have bhakti because bhakti is the first step towards dharma utsava sampradaya krutis are for nityotsavams are for festivals meluko daya nidhi meluko dasharati wake up you can use it on special occasions like ramanavami or you can also use it every day like this is prabhatam there are some which combine both vadana dyuti jita soma vasudha manasa kama madamanava kadabhima maam pai shri rama sho this is again another exquisite exquisite sanskrit composition composed in this ancient raga called pantorani you are going to hear putso sampradaya kriti is a divinam sankirtanas after i am done uh, but thanks to sangeeta lahari thanks to krishna vinayanti for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts and uh, vibha will now sing rama kodanda rama and uh, we will uh, uh, transition to other performers namaste
ಜರಾಮ ಕೋದಂಡ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ 